Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to share the project that we made for the Teresa Collins class that um, I took along with some other YouTubers on January 10th. That was around CHA and Teresa was in town and she typically um, does classes and stuff before CHA so we had such a fun time. Um, Gina's Frappinology was there as well as Patty who is Shabby Pink Stamper and her friend Denise. Hey ladies! Um, we had such a good time. Um, and we got to hang out with Teresa and stuff, and that was great. And Teresa's always so great and so nice. And also, we um, used the cinch. And I had to bind it all, but after using the cinch, you guys, I was sold. So I did get a cinch. Let me show that to you guys. So if you follow me on Facebook, um, that day after, um, that day after, I uh, took the class I was just so in love with the cinch that um, I'm like I'm getting it because it's so much easier than the bind it all um, and so when I logged into joanne.com there was free shipping and this puppy was 40% off so it was a good deal all around it was on sale and there was free shipping so um, I highly recommend it we totally um, used it it was super easy and um, I, I just can't wait to use it for my next project. <clears throat> so, of course, when you go to a class and you meet with YouTubers, um, everyone brings each other gifts. So I wanted to share some of the items that I got. So Gina was nice enough to make everyone um, this crystal, you know, pedestal holder. And she made mine black, super cute. And then she gave me a bag of goodies which is right here, and all the goodies are gone because I ate them all. But she gave everyone a little frame. Mine said love. And then it was packaged really cute, and I just ate all the candy already. And then Patty Shabby Bing Stamper made me this awesome card, and it's so cute. And here it is. She is so super talented, and it says warm winter wishes. And there's like the cutest doily back here and bling and it's like my favorite colors super cute and her coloring is so great um so she is super cute and that's patty who's um shabby pink snapper thanks ladies oh, let me make the room here oh and then patty also gave me <laughs> the cutest little hello kitty ornament and she had packaged it up so cute but i had already put away the packaging but here's the cute little Hello Kitty Christmas ornament. Thank you. And then um, I did do some hauling while I was there. Um, but before I show the hauling, so I'm totally, totally like not going in order here. <laughs> so I haven't made a video in a while. But Teresa also gave us like a bag of goodies. And I wanted to share those goodies with you. So which is always super nice. Like it came with. Um, a pen, the Teresa Collins Designs pen, and it's pink, of course. Um, some pretty lace, some damask ribbon, and all these like super cute goodies: bottle caps, crowns, um, the Meyer Road um, pins. So super cute stuff that would totally match um, all her collections. Thanks, Teresa. And then, um, I didn't buy that much. Um, I think one time on Facebook, I'm like, I'm never shopping again, which is always bad when you say you're never going to do something. But I have really just, like, toned down the shopping. So typically, I would get, like, ten of each and of her collections when they came out, and I would just go wild. But... I did tame myself because I am, I mean, I'm not stopping shopping, but I'm definitely not getting the multiple, you know, versions of stuff that I used to do. I'm just kind of getting just a little bit because I just really want to tone down the shopping, but I don't want to stop it altogether. So I did pick up these borders and it's the He Said, She Said collection and I just love the colors. Um, so there's like... Just different. There's like some cute mustaches here, all the different versions. 
but I really loved the combination of the text and this glitter, which is kind of like a graphite pewter color. Um, and then I also got, um, this, so I didn't get that much. I mean, like typically I would get just a ton of her stuff and I just only got a few things because we didn't make a project. So these are, um, these are uh, little notebooks very cute and the design on this one's super cute you can incorporate those into mini books and um different projects um and then i did get some paper not that much um teresa gave us this sheet which is part of our new collection um and so i only got a few of the papers i fell in love with this doily paper from the he said she said collection and this one um i don't know if it has a name it's called words paper because there's words in the back but i mostly got it for this i love the doilies um i've just been gaga over doilies for some reason and so i got three sheets of the doily paper because I foresee seeing, um, using that a lot. And then I got two sheets of this aqua paper, uh, the stripes, which I love. And my, one of my favorite papers of the moment is the, um, simple stories. And it has like a paper that looks exactly like this, but it's gray and I love it. So that's really my only haul, um, from that scrapbook store. I mean, they had a lot of yumminess there, but I really, um, I've really been good about restraining myself. I don't think it's good to say I'm stopping shopping like I did, but um, now that like I know like, okay, I'm gonna buy stuff, but I don't really go overboard anymore because I'm redoing my room right now and dude, it's like super crazy, all the stuff that I have. So that's kind of cured me from buying 10 of everything. Um, so here's the project, without further ado. So it's a journal, and it's just really gorgeous. I love this bling piece. I've been trying to look for it online, but I can't find it, but it came from one of her collections, and I think it is so beautiful. And of course, we use the cinch to bind it, which is perfection. Um, and then so um, we did, um, we, Gina was like a machine. She finished hers the same night. And so her collections come with these die cuts, this amazing envelope, and this crown washi tape, so crazy. It's like gorgeous. Um, but Gina was able to finish hers. I finished 95% of mine, but it was definitely like, I really wanted to finish the project while I was there. And I got like 90% of it done. So this is what it looks like and it's a journal and there's like, different pockets and stuff um, where you can tuck things in and put photos and I can't wait to put photos and stuff and journaling in this book. It's really hard to share a project when, you know, because sometimes you don't want to share all your pictures and stuff like that, so um, it's just a little weird like putting it out all up on YouTube. But um, here it is. I love... I love making it and we powered through it and it's always great when you can take a class and then you can complete a lot of it, um, you know, because you spend a lot of money taking the class and, you know, you just want to make sure you want to get everything out of it. So, I mean, this thing has so many pages and we were able to bust it out and, of course, Teresa gives you detailed pictures and directions on how to do everything. And um, her staff is like so helpful, which is her really super cute daughters. And so here's one of the envelopes, super great. I'm sitting weird, so my, <laughs> my arms are like tired, hold on. So here, and then her paper is so cool. It's like these light colors. And then here's the back. And then I copied her directions exactly because that's what I like to do when I go to a class. <laughs> but I did add the here and now in the back because whenever I make a mini book, I like adding something down here. 
so there we go it's super cute it's completed i can't wait to add my own pictures and such in it so there's that there's the Teresa collins class make sure you check out um her new stuff because it's super cute it's a lot of light colors and um it's really great even for project life so i'll see you guys later bye